Hello everybody and welcome to Knife Delights. I just really wanted to share this uh, burl wood cover material that has come out on the new line of slip joint knives by Buck. Now these are the Chinese uh, made versions and this is the canoe and this is the stockman and I got to tell you this burl wood is very striking. However, I got just a little bit of bad news to give, so hang around. Unfortunately, it's not all positive. But let's start at the beginning here. Um, like with this canoe, um, they did come out with this and just the wood grain. And then they came out with a canoe in, in the bone. And I do have it. I just didn't break it out for right now. And then they, I did have one of the stockmans in the, just the uh, plain wood or wood grain. And then I got this one in the bone. So it looks like they went from uh, wood grain to bone to now burl wood. Uh, right now they're only available that I have found on the Buck website. I'm really hoping that they release these to other retailers so they can get out, you know, to the online stores and maybe to Walmart and that. And perhaps the price will drop because right now, um, well, it's getting to the point where it's almost hard to call them a budget knife. But the the 371 Stockman, I got it on sale for $28.99, and the normal price is $33.99. And on the canoe, I paid uh, $25.99 on sale, and they're now asking $30.99 for this. So that's why I'm hoping it gets out to some of these other retailers. As you know, when you buy directly from the company, they usually cost more. And once they get out to the other retailers, usually the price goes down a little bit. Um, as I said, these are made in China. However, I did notice, I looked on both the blades. Um, they're not, not marked China at all. Oh, by the way, before I forget, so the canoe is uh, Buck Model 389. And the Stockman is the 371. If you look at these here in the past on the second blade on this, on the little pin blade, you'll see it's stamped China. It is not indicated on here. Uh, it is indicated on the box it came in. And the same thing with the Stockman on the sheep's foot here. It is stamped China. But again on this one, it is not. as you can see so here we go I love this burl wood as I said I'm excited um, there's seven patterns uh, the stockman the uh, canoe the trio which is a smaller stockman the deuce the solo and a small toothpick I think those are the the models that they came out with in the burl wood now for the very uncomfortable part for me. When I first opened up this Stockman, and I held it in my hand, and then I turned it over and looked at it, I saw that, that middle spring right there is really down in deep. It does not match up whatsoever. It is quite noticeable. And you can tell it when you're opening the blade. Kind of a soft opening. Not too bad of a snapshot, but it's a bad opening. Now, once you get it open, everything is flush. I have never seen, you know, a misalignment to this degree on any new slip joint knife, buck or not. You can see how badly that's misaligned. Uh, that was very disappointing to me. And also, when I got to looking at it closer, where is it here? Must be on the other side. There you can see on the other side, up in here, you can see that the uh, wood is cracked. It's cracked here and it's cracked up in here. So, I think this knife is going to have to go back. I'm going to have to test out uh, Buck's Forever Warranty. I've had good luck with it in the past. They've always seemed to stand behind their products. Uh, so, you know, it's disappointing to get, it, to get one with this kind of fit and finish. I... I guess I expect more out of Buck, 
And if, especially now with these prices, if they're going to start charging this amount of money for a Chinese made knife and then this is what you get, well, I don't know. Do I continue to collect these or not? I'm really hoping they stand behind it. And like I said, I believe, I believe they will. You know, here on the canoe, everything's lined up good. So, I mean, yeah, there's minuscule gapping there. I'm not concerned about that. That's not going to affect the performance of the knife. I'm not collecting this uh, as a family heirloom or anything like that. You know, the rest of the knife is just fine. And I'll be doing a full review and maybe some comparisons of this canoe with the other canoe models. But I did want to bring this up. And I would just like to know if anyone else is having any problems with uh, buck quality. Why, please let me know. We, we got to hold them accountable, I think. How that got through quality control, I don't know. Tell me what you think down there in the comments, and thanks for watching. Um, but it is exciting to see this, this cover. This burl wood is, well, when it's done right and it's not cracked, <laughs> it's, it is extremely gorgeous, and I love it. So until next time, everyone, uh, please have a very delightful day, and please leave me a comment. See ya.